Hey Simmers and Animal Lovers, it's Erin the Rescue Simmer and you are watching The Shelter Play Along Season 2. Ooh, hey Caleb, we're having a little get together before prom. Do you want to join? So it's Saturday, but Caleb hasn't been to high school yet. He actually won't even go for the next few weeks. So as nice as that was for her to ask him, it's it's a little weird in the context of his life. So we have just welcomed Leah, who is a sim self of a dog that is actually available for adoption through Coastal German Shepherds Rescue in Orange County, California. Caleb just got back from a good run with her. She's an energetic dog. So she is very much gonna need some physical activity. Part of this is going to be her breed. If you see how lean she is, ooh, this is a really bad angle. If you see how lean she is, she's got very little body fat on her. Belgian Malinois are made that way. They're made very aerodynamic. So that's going to dictate her energy level. She's also a very, very nervous dog who was pulled from a bad situation. She also hasn't really had much experience in a home except in her foster in real life. She's adjusting fairly well. She's making leaps and bounds, but this is all pretty new for her. I really don't know what to do, you guys. The shelter volunteers have been so helpful that they're like training the animals, which is awesome. So they're all pretty much ready to go. And I have moved in a few more of your families around the world. I'm gonna see if we can meet them somehow in this episode. Perfect. Caleb acquired the pet training skill. That's exactly what we wanna see. Let's see, how about we finish her sit training with her? He is training her to sit right now. Caleb's actually a really good sim to be able to meet other potential adoptive families because of this aspiration that he has. So he wants to introduce himself to 10 sims. He's already got three down. Uh, also, I wanted to see if maybe we could bring him around some of the other teens in his area. Teens that he's going to be going to high school with next year, next sim year. Oh yay, Amy finished her knitting. Since Amy has finished her knitting project, I'm gonna have her go and just say hi, hang out with the cats a little bit while Caleb gets up close and personal with Miss Leah. I had asked you guys last episode what you felt like you wanted to see in the comments from her for her story. Oh yay, Leah learned to sit. And one of you guys had said that she, you felt like she would be a really great dog for maybe police officers, like she'd be a good canine officer. And I love that idea. I love the idea of giving Leah a job. Now, as much as I love the idea of giving Leah a job, I don't know that a canine officer would be a good fit for her. Those dogs that are depended on to be able to do their jobs have to do them in varying situations uh, that can be very scary. It would require Leah to be able to focus on just her handler in a variety of different situations. And because of her background and where she is, I'm not gonna say it's impossible, because really, so long as you have the right training method that works for that dog, I believe that huge leaps and bounds can be made, but it just isn't very likely in Leah's case. She is probably always gonna be a little bit more timid. Uh, most dogs will have had an entire lifetime of growing up around couches and hardwood floors and squeaky toys, other dogs, other people, doors that open and close, fans, lights that turn off and on because we pushed a button. Things that are just so normal to us and the pets that we have been socializing to these things that are just so foreign to Leah. And if you're not raised around them, they're terrifying. So Leah has already come such a far way and definitely she could have a far way to go, but I don't know that Leah specifically as a canine officer would probably be the thing that made her feel the best and would be something that a canine unit could really use her for. Now, I do think that Leah could be trained to do things like obstacle courses. I do think that Leah could probably uh, be trained or have a job to be someone's emotional support animal, possibly. Oh my gosh, Hugo definitely has to get in on this. You know that he cannot leave a dog where it is. He's gotta be able to come in and say hi and give him kisses and pets. Ooh, he got so flirty when his wife walked by. Now, emotional support animals 
are animals that have a right to live wherever you live. So being a Belgian Malinois, she would have a lot of the same restrictions that pit bulls, German shepherd dogs, Rottweilers, Doberman pinchers, those kinds of animals would as far as where she could live. So she typically couldn't live in an apartment. If she were emotional support animal, however, it really doesn't matter what breed of animal she is. Oh no, are you feeling sick, bud? Yeah, I think he is. Oh my gosh, Hugo's teaching her to heal. Um, he's doing this in the front yard. I don't love that because Leah has been known to bolt um, because of fear. She loves her foster family, but her fear drives her at this point to kind of disregard what her foster is telling her. And that's normal for a dog that's been raised or not raised, not socialized like she has been. But her fear really does rule her interactions with unfamiliar things. So she would always need to be on a leash, at least at this point, because when she's afraid, she bolts. Right now it's to the end of her leash and then she sits down, which is a big difference from where she came from. Oh my goodness, you guys, it is late. So now that we've trained Leah, quite a bit. She's got quite a bit of training for the day. I'm going to send them to bed and then we're going to take Leah with us tomorrow and Caleb. We're going to go to Copperdale. I will let them kind of wind down with their night. Caleb is going to work on his homework. We're going to get Hugo some medicine and I will see you guys in the morning. Alrighty guys. So we are up. It looks like Leah is gonna have to learn not to wake folks up with barking. Again, I think this is because of her anxiety that she has, oh, it's okay, sweetie, um, that she, man, she did not take well to that correction. Um, I think anxiety is going to be driving quite a lot of her interactions and a lot of her behaviors. We're gonna see a lot of anxious behavior out of her, um, a lot of behavior that could probably be misunderstood as aggression or just destruction. That's a really common thing for anxious dogs to do, to lash out at other animals, at people, to do things like have leash aggression, uh, where they lash out at the end of leashes. It doesn't sound like from her bio that Leah has any of that. We're gonna have Hugo take Leah on a run. Since he's up anyway, he got a really good night's sleep to help her work out some of that nervous behavior. So certainly exercise is an amazing way to help an anxious dog. Just give them something to do with all that nervous energy. Hugo is really wanting to take care of his health as he gets older for Caleb so that he's there for him during his milestones. So this is a win-win. So having an anxious dog for him at this time really works. It looks like Caleb is up. Oh my gosh, he is tense. He's missing out on dreams from fear of unfulfilled dreams. It can be frustrating when a simple task keeps getting disregarded. So he wants to do things. I'm not letting him do things because it, it truly isn't time. Oh, it's raining. Oh my gosh, you guys. Again, Brindleton Bay. Who's shocked? No one. No one is shocked. Amy's up and ready for some breakfast. So I think that we'll have her and Hugo eat breakfast, kind of do the shelter stuff. Since it's the weekend, we're not going to depend too much on our volunteers. We're going to let them enjoy their weekends. And then once Caleb is all fed and ready to go, then we'll take Leah over to Copperdale so that he can get acquainted with some of the teens that hopefully he's going to be going to high school with. Oh my goodness, dripping wet. Here they come back. Oh man. Caleb is going to come in and give Leah some love. He is just going to pet her because he's a little bit stressed out. Then we're going to get on with his day. He's actually not super hungry. So after he's done brushing her, I think it's a good time to get a move on. Oh, he's sad. The purpose of life. What agency does Caleb really even have? What he wants to do always feels out of reach, replaced only with an overreaching directive of what he has to do. Okay, so the game is admonishing me <laughs> for not giving in to his wants more. He does want to cloud gaze with his grandma, with Mary, and he wants to meet someone new. So I think definitely we can get that done. Let's have him feel the love from Leah. He's such an angsty teen. <laughs> so we'll have him feel the love from Leah, and then we're going to have him travel and get the heck out of Dodge with his foster. Hopefully it is not raining in Copperdale. So now that we're in the map, I do want to call out... I 
replaced the high school. Now I do want Caleb to go to the thrifty store just because it's a teen hangout because it's raining we're not going to go where I wanted to go. I wanted to go to the pier and it's also kind of awkward to get there. We're also going to decide that they are just dog friendly. So we'll keep Leah on a lead and we'll see kind of what happens. I know life is so hard, Caleb. So he's going to give a hug to her and then we are going to leash up our dog. Perfect. Exactly. That is responsible pet ownership. Now this is going to be a big deal for Leah because although she is being exposed to new things all the time, she's going to need someone trusted to bring her through that. So as you can see, she's barking again. Again, this is a stress response or can be a stress response. She's chasing her tail kind of neurotically. Oh my gosh, look you guys, it's one of your teens. This is our beautiful Brooke Baxter. She's one of the Baxters that adopted a dog and a cat from us. So let's have Kate Caleb meet her because that's what he wants to do anyway and apparently he's never allowed to do what he wants even though he's only been a teen for like a day. Oh my goodness. Oh Leah's a jumpy dog. Don't spook her. So the speakers are spooking her and that is really really natural. Part of why we brought her here was to be exposed to certain things. It doesn't look like I can comfort her right now although she is definitely afraid. So right now we're just going to tell her not to bark. Oh my gosh, she's shaking. Poor thing. Let's just pet her. She seems to be doing a little bit better, loosening up just a little bit. And it looks like Caleb wants to become friends with Eloise. We have unleashed our dog. I don't love that. But why don't we enthuse about dogs with her? I don't know who Eloise is. Eloise Hiddlesticks. I love that name. <laughs> Oh, Caleb seems to be enjoying this song. Should he embrace that he likes S-pop music? Yeah, he can love S-pop music. Okay, listen, ma'am, Miss Mila Munch. You can just get off our dog right now. Thank you. So let's try to do a respectful introduction to her. Hopefully we can uh, keep her from giving our dog such a hard time. Yeah, I know, Leah. I totally understand. Let's discuss our fears with Eloise. I really kind of like her style. I think that that's really cute. Oh, sweetie. So when your dogs do this, you're supposed to be able to comfort them. I'm really annoyed that that's not coming up right now. Um, let's just let her lick our face. Oh, look at her. She is just meeting every... That's really great, actually. Oh, so even though it's not preferred, like obviously we don't want to stress her out. It looks like bringing her out is helping her. Caleb is actually really hungry. Do we have food here? Aw, she trusts him enough to become companions, you guys. That's super cute. I'm actually kind of bummed. I wonder if in this location, is this a teen hangout? Because it should be if it's not. It is not. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. Yeah, I just went ahead and put the teen neighborhood on. So teens are going to congregate around here. I mean, obviously more than just teens live here, but the whole point of this world is so that teens have a place to kind of be all about them. And I don't understand why that wasn't put in. So because Caleb wants to become friends with Eloise, we're going to definitely cheat and take selfies all over the place. This will help him remember his very first outing to Thrifty. Perfect. All right. Awesome. So he's got his first friend. I really love that. Okay. So Leah is playing in this trash pile. I don't know why people left it. Oh my goodness, honey. It's okay. So let's give her some actual training to do. Yeah. We'll teach her to shake. We'll kind of show her off to everybody. I am hoping that some of you guys' teens will populate on this lot. So we've got some more parents that have come in, but no more teens, which is a bummer. But on the plus side, Leah is learning a new trick. The more tricks she learns, the more she's going to be better behaved, the more attractive she's going to be for folks that are looking for her. Now, I will say I am absolutely open to be able to taking this jumpy trait away from her and maybe replacing it with something like maybe she got um, to a point where she is no longer just specifically jumpy in our game. We might move that to something like curious or smart, something like that, so that we can show the really important job that fosters do in taking the pressure off of the animals that they foster, giving them a really great environment to be able to grow. Yes, Leah learned to shake. And I really want Caleb to be able to introduce her to his pal, Eloise. <laughs> well, they kind of met in passing, I guess. Eloise seems really, really interested in cleaning up trashes. 
Uh, so we're just gonna, oh, is this a teen? It is not. Oh my gosh. Okay, so there are no teens that are spawning on this lot, which is very disappointing for me. So I'm gonna take you guys actually to the school. Oh my gosh, just as I say this, he's about to pick up the poop because <laughs> he asked Leah to use the bathroom, but a bunch of teens are coming in. So I completely want him to be able to develop these friendships. It looks like we've got six of our 10 people met. Oh my goodness. Okay, so Eloise is a young adult. She's a thrift store owner. Okay, that's weird that she's one of our best friends. I am really regretting doing that. Uh, why don't we show off our selfies to Sophie and we're gonna take a look with Noah. We're gonna see kind of what he's about. Just get some relationships going. Oh, she wants to play. Okay, so let's also just go ahead we're gonna take her home we are gonna take leah back she keeps getting scolded you guys that's crazy uh back in rainy brindleton bay caleb is just gonna go ahead and train some fetch with her while leah is getting a much deserved mouthful i'm gonna go ahead and leave it here i feel like this is probably a a shorter episode. I was hoping that we would meet more teens, but that really didn't happen. Leah was ready to go, so we needed to follow her cues and take her home. But next episode, we are going to be meeting your families and getting our general population pets their homes. In the meantime, guys, thank you so much for playing along with me, and as always, happy simming.